Yo, 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 yo. This is Benjamin's Room Podcast. We live in Music Box Studios. You already got a whole new setup going on. You did like everything new, everything. You hear me? Everything. You did. So we kind of all over the place today. Well, me personally, I'm all over the place. But we out here. We up in here with a special guest. Um, I'm going to let you introduce yourself, though. Like I always do. It's Max P checking in. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to start off by saying, look, this is a pleasure to be here with my dog. You know what I'm saying? When he gave me the opportunity, it was a no-brainer for me. I ain't waiting. I ain't trying to. Look, let's, next day we free. Let's get this shit popping. You hear me? No cap. Facts. You hear me? Facts. My dog been supporting me, so... Before we start, I want to make sure I give you your flowers, brother. I'm proud of everything you're doing on and off the camera. You hear me? You hear me? For the record, on and off the camera. It's something that a lot of people don't know about me and Max. Me and Max done had fights. You feel like (laughs) me and Max done like really battled it. Yeah. You were like, yeah. Like, that's somebody I could really call a friend. You hear me? Because I like, ain't nothing out. Ever, ever since I first met the kid, mm-hmm. I always felt like there wasn't nothing I couldn't really tell him because he a Joseph. Mm-hmm. And then once once you show me that you a Joseph, yeah. like bitch, I will tell you anything. Like oh, yeah. on, on some shit, you're yeah. because you ain't gonna really take it personal. Fuck no, I ain't gonna and be my friend. We gonna we gonna yeah, you did, but it was fun. <laughs> you did, it, no it, it, it was fun. I look no back cap. on the shit, no and it was it was real fun. You did, um, even from the group chats that we in, we've been in these group chats mm-hmm. for damn, what it seemed like maybe like eight years or for some real, shit. Like, huh? I was working at City Greens like Damn, around the time. With, you ain't lying, that, brother. <laughs> that's how I ended up in a group chat from um from um um man, that, what's the kid name, man? Which one? Who y'all always be jostling off in there? Oh, Lou. Lou, yeah, Lou, 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 yeah. Lou, 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 man. Lou, 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 me and Lou working at City Greens. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, every time. Every rapper that I have real bonds with mm-hmm. it don't come from rap. Yeah. It's always like some side job or some shit I was doing that just so happened a nigga who worked there know a rapper. Yeah, and is. and Lo, me and Low working at City Greens, and he like he like oh yeah you know like you be fucking with rappers and shit like man you need to holler at my partner. Yeah. He like Max, P, but you was already buzzing that like you had already got a jail and mm-hmm. and was buzzing. I'm like man this I'm like. Fucking right, I work with that kid. Like that kid, nice. Like he, nice, nice. Yeah. That's when I really started listening to more of your music because yeah. of my personal relationship with with Lo. Yeah. I'm like, man, this kid, like this kid, crazy. Like he, 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 you, you was different. Yeah. Like and just so happened, I don't know why this happened in New Orleans. A lot of times, lightning always strike all over the city. Mm-hmm. You hear me? Like it could be dead. Mm-hmm. Like right now, shit could be dead. Mm-hmm. You got a rifle nine. Which that's that was the reason why that was so weird because you just had a rifle nine. Yeah. You was when lightning starts striking in this mm-hmm. bitch, it starts striking. So oh, you had you you had B2I young, you had styles, you had you had jig of money, you had so many artists that was really buzzing, but you took the you took the head of that, even mm-hmm. though you had an artist like BTY Youngin, who had the craziest buzz. Both of y'all getting out of jail like around the same time. You did um, Nola Hip Hop Awards was still happening. Thanks. You had one artist, uh, artist of the year that yeah, year. You did okay. like I remember this shit like yeah, yesterday tough. though yeah, because the, everybody marketing was on fucking crazy. Like you seen Max P fucking posters everywhere. Like you was running for office. Yeah, you tough. see BTY Youngin, this nigga slinging his CDs himself, mm-hmm. going to the store. The store, the store, you get to meet the artist and buy the album. And it's, and it's the hottest album out. You right. gotta have it. You you have and it. he's selling hard copies in the digital era. Yeah, you know, so like y'all really was um bef- ahead of y'all time. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And I and I think the the right backing at that time mm-hmm. would have changed New Orleans. Like on on, on, on some Marquis LaRue story. Yeah. I wanna start there. Yeah. Marquis LaRue story is an album. A piece of art that that I really hold near and dear to my heart. Mm-hmm. My only problem with Marquis LaRue's story, one, is that it's not on Apple Music. Like that's Every, my only fucking and, flaw with that <laughs> shit, everybody though. Tell me that, you hear me? And I, I'm definitely in the process of um, putting that shit together. You hear me? I just ran across a hard copy that one of my friends got. You hear me? So I'm gonna make sure I rip that to the computer and get that shit. Definitely on Apple Music, man. Bro. For sure, for sure, for the Bro. real D ones. Where you was in your life recording that album? Like, like take me back to, at, at, like, as this album as a thought. Take me back to that. Man, I was, I looked at that, like, my dream was so hands-on and just, it was the main focus. I just felt like I knew rapping was going to change my life. Like, you know what I'm saying? I was, I had... The support system out this world, all my partners was with it, my hood was with it. You know what I'm saying? 
I was I was I was accepting the fact of meeting new faces as a street nigga, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of weird at first because I'd be out and you got people staring at you, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm wondering why y'all looking so hard. So I'm adapting to the, oh, they know who I am now, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and shit like that. And I feel like my hunger was just on a whole nother level at that at that point, you know what I'm saying, in life, you know what I'm saying? Then my business partner at the time, which was like locking and Little Big Homie, you know, they was making it so easy for me to where I was spurred, to where I was really, like, out the way. Like, this was my main focus. Like, I ain't have no responsibilities. Like, you know what I'm saying? It just was music, music, music. So I was putting my total 100% into it. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's just like, I felt like I, I owed it to everybody. I felt like a lot of people was depending on me. So it's just like I accepted that pressure, you know, just from everybody just to, take it to another level. I love the way, you know, people in all different forms of fashion, like street people, people working their jobs, you know what I'm saying? You tagging me and you on your way to work, you know what I'm saying? You on your job bumping it. So it's like, you know, I was I was accepting all that at the moment. And that was just like motivation from so many levels, you know what I'm saying? And it just was like, it was a hunger I never had in my life, you know what I'm saying? I just wanted to get a word of me. Like I wanted to paint my picture over music, you know what I'm saying? To me, this what's all right because by you saying that, right? Mm -hmm. It made me think, and and I'm thinking to myself because me personally as a creator, what you need, like, what's the things you need, like, to create a like you what you just said, you was focused on music, mm -hmm. and that's the max that's only you ain't focused on, you ain't worrying about nothing going on, mm -hmm. life wise, street wise. You just in a place in your life where you can only focus on music. Right. You think what what out of all of that was the most helpful for you, creative, besides just being so comfortable and focused? Like, um, I feel like for me, um, uh, I you I I started transitioning and using it as therapy. Like it was my it was my getaway. It was me, like venting. Like, cause I'm not a you know, I could hear, oh, this one say, oh, he not this, oh, he not that, he not, you know what I'm saying? And I don't address that. Like, you know, I'm more hands on, I'm I'm face to face. You know, like you said, how we jokes, I'm 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 more direct, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like f for me, music just was my venting. Like it was me to address everything and address it the way I wanted to address it. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it just became like a therapy for me and like it still is to this day, like you know what I'm saying? Now you good, you good, you good, bro. It's still like a therapy for me. Like, so it just was like heavy venting for me. It's like my peace. It's like my my own creative space. Well, it's like something You need quiet? Like how you how you create? Like you need music. Like, because I heard Jay-Z say this line one time. He said, um, he said, put the beat on. Crack the dope and then let go of it. You did like, yeah. like you you a, you a, you a person who listens to the beat and write. Are you the person that write, like a, listen to the beat, turn it off, and then write in, in, in quietness? Like how you write? I mean, or do you write? I don't know if you write. Yeah, like you write. I, I, I was just about to say that. It's like, I write. I started writing in jail. Like you know what I'm saying. When I came home, right. came home with the big old packs of paper, writing. And that's just from me venting in my cell putting shit together but like as an artist over time it's like I found my way to where like I have my days like a producer may send me 10 beats I like four out of them so I might be at home you know my girl if I was for that shit like I might be at home with the headphones on living room just in my own zone writing this writing that you know but I also have my time where I go to the studio and look just put that bitch on I might have let it come to me you know so I'm kind of like 60, 40 right now, and it's leaning toward the, I don't even really write too much, you know what I'm saying? I write, I find my free time to like write, you know, at home if I could, and I gotta find a beat, but majority of the time is on some, look, man, I've been out the studio too long, I've been working too long, I've been grinding too long, like, man, fuck that, I need to get in there. So, you know, I go in there and half of the time, I'm, you know, I'm on a time frame, so I don't got no time to be sitting there writing and playing, so, look, put a beat on right quick, man, so, you know, it's like I kind of then taught myself how to, you know, because you're still writing music, but you're just not writing it on paper. It's, you know, you're punching in. Right, right, You know what right. I'm saying? So I'm about to listen to the beat, come up with something right quick. Oh, that was fire. I'm about to say that line right quick, put that on there. 
you know, play that again. Let me hear that. And I'm about to come with something to come after. So it's like go back to the writing process because that uh, that always interests me, especially when I talk to artists like Mr. Mean. Uh, I hear about artists like Biggie mm-hmm. that just don't write. That do a lot of punching. Lil Wayne right. made it famous for that. Um, I come from a generation of writers. Right. You know, I come from a generation where everybody had to write. Like, right. He ain't write. It wasn't no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I'm cut from that club for sure, for sure. And like I said, you know, I recently, I'm going to say probably maybe the last year and a half, I might have just really, you know, learned the art of not writing type shit. But I come from that club where I like to write it. I'm hearing a beat. You know, I didn't, I, I'm hearing a beat so many times. It's like after I finish writing, I damn near know it by heart now. You see what I'm saying? So someday, and that's how I know when I'm really into it because I'm really going to write. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, the freestyling is just, not freestyling, but the plugging in is kind of just the creative side as an artist. Like, you know what I'm saying? I feel like, because like when you look at people like Wayne and the biggest who don't write, man, that's just a God-given talent. Like everybody not blessed with that talent. Right. You know what I'm saying? And I'm one of the people who wasn't, but over the time I've learned the you know, art of it and, and learned how to do it. But, you know, one of the first people I saw that was doing it, me hands on, was Young Greatness. Rest in peace, Young Greatness. Like, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times he had me around him. He was on that, you know, mumbling, da, 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 getting a vibe and, right. you know, then going in and doing it, like type shit. So, and Kid Kid too, one time I got, I got to be in the studio with him and I watched him plug a lot of shit in and, you know, do that shit like that. But I feel like, what I, what I know for me it came over time, like, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm kind of good at it now. Like, a lot of this shit on the last album that I just dropped, August 24th, y'all make sure y'all go get that, too. While we oh, got listen chance. to that. Yeah, it's, to, it's called Still At It, you know what I'm saying? I just dropped it on my birthday, just, you know, cause I got a lot of music piled up. I just want to get my little fans something right quick to let them know, yeah, I'm still at it. I'm still getting it in, you know what I'm saying? So, but a lot of that was punched in, just, you know, feeling the vibes type shit. Mm-hmm. You spoke on Kid Kid. Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. You coming from Piety Street. Yeah. Nine Wall. What does um Kid Kid how how much older is Kid Kid than you? I don't know. How old is Kid Kid? I know, I know I think he's like around my age. Yeah. You hear me? What that is? Third what? Mike? Here? Yeah. I'm good. All right. Um But as an artist, how old are you? I'm 33. All right, yeah, he, yeah, he got you by probably like four or five years. Yeah, as a, as a, as a younger artist, right, mm-hmm. coming up in the night ward, what does Kid Kid mean to y'all? I mean, I'm gonna be real. Like Kid Kid was one of the biggest influence. Like, cause you know, you know how New Orleans is. We big on our hood, our wall. Like, you know what I'm saying? So right. anybody who was putting off our wall, it was like, I'm fucking with that. And Kid Kid was like, I got on Kid Kid. I, I been on him like around the squad days and shit like that. But see, around the time like that, no laws, new laws and all that shit came out. And he was fucking up the Jay-Z beat and all that shit. Like, I was on Kid Hard. Like, that was my... Dude was like... I don't know if he know. He was like, around that time, he's like, down in my favorite artist around that time, bro. You know what I'm saying? And knowing he from the hood and shit like that, like, you know, I could see him. I could see his brother, you know... Moving throughout the hood, he wasn't just no person I couldn't reach. Or, you know, see, he used to get weed from my La Pana Alta, you know, around the corner. Like, it was just shit like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? We wasn't running in and all that like that. But I, I used to be able to see him like that and that go do. You know what I'm saying? Right. But for me, yeah, I used to bump that kid kid every morning, bro. I'm going to be real. Right. Yeah, my grandma used to turn that shit down. Like, yeah, I'm bumping that. On the way to school, I'm bumping that. I'm fucking with that. Yeah. See, uh, you think of all this, like, because... I think just thinking about the comparison, right? To you and a kid, kid, they have a lot of similarities, right? Right. Outside of the um, the 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 actual signing with a, a major, mm-hmm. right? You just came up in a different time, right? Right. So we don't have a little Wayne, mm-hmm. right? We don't have a little Wayne that could come back to the city and just be like, pa pa pa. Make them connections work, right? right? So, but the buzz is similar. The 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 flow patterns they're not alike, but everything else is similar. Right. Like even even the wave is similar. Even even the longevity, right? All that is similar. Um, I never really even compared y'all two as 
being so similar, just coming up in different times. But but actually, if you when you look at y'all careers, mm-hmm. at, they actually like compel on some shit. You right. know what I'm saying? Why you think a lot of Nightwall artists, or do you think it's down? Like why why you think a lot of artists? Because I see a lot of artists from y'all era that's raw, right? right? And I just feel like a lot of them they don't get a lot of they just do. Through through time, like even when you talk about the logs yeah, or the um, right, right. or like you could go, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You could go back. Yeah, and that that was part <laughs> of my motivation too, like because um, it was like I don't know what it is, bro. I don't know if it's just like Baby and Cashman. They had such a you know the impact was that big to it's like it like it overshined down. You know I'm talking about for his attention wise, like, right, 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 you know right. What I'm saying? on the market when people who ain't know about New Orleans. They didn't really, you know, they'll hear about the night was sometimes. You know, Mr. Magic had his little running, you know, shit like that. But, you know, the cash and money wave and error was so powerful. They was talking about uptown. So it's like, you know, your average person who ain't know nothing about New Orleans, they about to say the Magnolia Project, Calio Project, uptown. Via you know what BG from all this you know what I'm saying so but that's what get commercialized that's what get commercialized right. so it's like it's more drilled into the head mode you know what I'm saying type shit but. I feel like downtown, like, man, you could run with anything in the city, like, up from anywhere. I know multiple artists is that's stepping on shit, you know what I'm saying? You know, from the nine, from downtown, from the seven wall, from here, to, you know, anywhere, bro. So I don't know, but I hope, you know, hopefully we could change that for sure. I won't be one of them people that make sure we shine that light on that nine because that nine talented, bro. A whole lot of people talented in that nine from downtown. Period. You know what I'm saying? Not just the nine, but 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 you know what I think um, is is a major um, have a major effect on the market downtown when it comes to music. When you look at uptown, mm-hmm. right? You had an artist like BTY Youngin mm-hmm. who could make a music with Nino Calvin. He could make music with Bub. He could make music with you. Mm-hmm. He could make music with. So he like a um he was like a he was almost like the equalizer mm-hmm. that made everything make sense. Mm-hmm. Even when you talk about the hot boys, you got a kid from the seventeen, you got a kid from the thirteen, mm-hmm. you got a kid from the third wall, mm-hmm. you did, you yeah. get another kid from the third wall. I mean that's hoods that normally wouldn't be making music together. Right. So a lot of times you don't see you don't hear like a, a cut of gang J Black with a TZ or a Max P with a you know what I'm saying? Cut a game, J. Black, because you have a lot of these artists that's really, really buzzing. Right, so, right. I, and I don't always know the street politics, mm-hmm. you dig? but I always see who make music with who. Right. And whoever make music with who always mean a lot. So when you have a small city that have such a small population and such talented people, mm-hmm. you always need a person that can plug these people, even if we don't necessarily... this music, there's yeah. an art. And to develop a market... You have to be able to plug that in. If it if it if it if it can't connect, it won't connect. Thanks. And so when you go uptown, you have a lot of people that just say, "Look, you making music with you." Mm-hmm. Like you had a Mr. Marcellos, where who was pushing a song so hard with Master P and Baby, mm-hmm. he almost made it happen, but Master P didn't want it. Right. You did. Right. Baby was like he was down. Mm-hmm. So imagine a Baby and Master P. I'm rolling. All right. Imagine a Baby and a Master P. And the Mr. Marcellos was the one who, but he he could have made that plug happen. Right. You know, like if he would have massaged it a little Man. more, he just left it alone. But at the same time, it was just a show on what could happen. Baby was down with it. That would have been big, boy. And and so even if you look at downtown, at some point, um, when you talk about the market, we have to put a lot of our um personals mm-hmm. on the side of us. I le- I had to learn that in the park world, on um, dealing with my kid because. I fall out with a park on some business shit. Mm-hmm. You dig? And but my kid bonded with this coach. Yeah. And I, and I fuck with this coach. And he like, Dad, that's my team. You hear me? I won't give up on my team. I won't go to another park. Right. Like I got business to take care of with my team and my coach. Right. All my all my feelings go to the side at that. And y'all, as as artists, your music is your kid. Right. That's your child. Like, right. Like Erica right. Badu say I'm personal. Like this some personal shit. You did yeah. like <laughs> uh, you know, like I I'm gonna feel some type of way about my shit. No care. So once you start making music with other artists, you're gonna feel some type of way about that song. Mm-hmm. Like music you made with BTY Young and the Street Babies and like that's classic music. Right. That shit that you know, like 
that's real classy music. That shit that you can't go back and make. Right. You right. did like when you look at it, it was just great music mm-hmm. at a great time. So as an artist like you, right? You're a younger artist coming up in a generation. You kind of you you still hitting the shit. Mm-hmm. You did. How how important you feel like it is to just creating them bonds now? You know what I'm saying? Like because you 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 like a mid. You you almost like you're not a younger artist mm-hmm. and you're not an old artist. Right. You did so you kind of in a position where right. you could do that. Man, it's believe it or not, it, it's really tough. Like you know, so basically now what I what I what I kind of go off is just like genuine. I I, I fell out with different artists. It's like I always been that artist. Like I don't got no problem with tell. I don't care where you from. Like if you nice. Man, say the homie, I'm fucking with that. Like I always been that type. Like I don't care who you is, you know. Do make a music. Like I, I do a song with him. Like you know what I'm saying. Now I also been an artist to where I'm not gonna cut no corners with you because I don't give a fuck how fuck how good you fuck with me or how big you think I may be as an artist. If you don't like my shit, I want you to like 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 you say, brother. We could joke. We could you could tell me about anything. You just said and told me, man. That cover art was trash on that last one, bro. Right. And I accept that. Like, right. I'm not about to plex up about that or nothing. Like, right. at the end of the day, because if you fuck with me, bro, you're going to give me the real whether I like it or not. That's right. with anybody in genuine. So, you know, it's the artists these days. It's like, like you said, the, the dude, Jay Black, like, Cutter mm-hmm. Game Jay Black. I like his little different. We got a list, different voice, different style. You know, but I like he's rap hustling. Like he's, right. I'm about to do whatever I do to stay in your face. Like, right. and I I met him a few times. Cool dude. Like you know, Holly ain't no no acting like you too. You know, a lot of people used to do a lot of shit like acting like they too much. Like I I never wanted to give off that impression, no matter what status I was in, whether I won a Nola award, whether I, nothing, or whether I performed in front of ten people. I'm about to, I'm about to give y'all my all wherever I'm at. Like right. you know what I'm saying? So. A lot of people be on some, oh, I don't know. He not from my hood. Fuck, I got a partner with rap. He ain't fucking with my partner. Da, da, da. So, like, basically, now nah, I, I go off vibes. Like, I go off, you know, the energy. Like, I feel like God gave me a talent to where I could be around you. Like, I could have a conversation with you and know where you at with it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You're going right. to give me off. You're going to put off your vibe. And I'm a, I'm going a, I'm to a take it for what it is. Like, at the right. end of the day, you know what I'm saying? I'm a you know, I'm going to feel you out. I'm going I'm to I'm talk to you. I'm going to understand. So, you know, they got a lot of artists that I love to work with, like, you know what I'm saying, and, and, and fuck with. But, you know what I'm saying, I, at this point, I'm just on some, like, I'm fucking with who fucking with me. Like, I appreciate whoever rock with me, who downloaded, remix, reposted, you know, tag me in something, shot me out. Any, I'm fucking with who fucking with me. I'm not focused on who not fucking with me, who feel some type of way or none of that. But, and I'm definitely you know supporting everybody who i see grinding and working and like putting out quality street music or whatever kind of music they putting out you know what i'm saying tell me this speak on your relationship with bty Youngin. with bty all right you know i started rapping in jail you know what i'm saying so um I had a, I had a seller by the name of Curtis. He was out of the cell. used to call him. They used to call him Killer. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he wound up coming home too. I wound up hollering at him, but he was one of the first niggas in jail. Cause you know at that time I wasn't even supposed to be in jail. I was on jail on the whole bogus ass charge. You know we'll talk about that shit too. But you know, uh, you know your seller is gonna be somebody you are gonna have to get to know. Just your seller. You know what I'm saying? Y'all about to be around each other. Y'all living around each other. You know eventually y'all gotta talk to each other. Shit like that. So um. I started, I started rapping, you know, to him and making music, you know, writing the shit down, running it to him. So um, it eventually got to where, you know, he on some, say, bro, man, come here, dude, man, T- you know, check this out. So it got to the point where the whole tier now, they know what's up. So, you know, of course, these people from all, of, you know, through New Orleans, uptown, downtown, this wall, that wall, ain't no wall, you ain't got nobody from that's not in, you know, on this tier. Right. So, you know, of course, now, nah, all right, damn, this dude, Max, fire, like, you know, man, you ever heard of, you know, um, BTY Youngin, dude from out the 17th, da 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 No, I ain't never him, man. Dude, cold. You know, so I heard of him in jail first. You know what I'm saying? I, I never, he was never on no tip with me. Um, 
I think we hit the docks one time before, but it was on some shit where I think he was, you know, about to fight or some shit like that. So they shipped him to the holding tank type shit in the back. And um, you know, so I that's why I first heard of him from. Then I got this funny story I always tell, like whoever asked me about it, when um, you know, I was already home. I think I came home before BTY, you know what I'm saying? So I kinda had hit the ground, you know, running like type shit. I was on a mission, you know, the hood got behind a nigga. You know, my name was kind of ringing. Uh, BTY came home, and this one was on the first feed up. You know what I'm saying? So this round of time, I had got introduced to KC from um, my dude Paper Chase Promotions. You hear me? He introduced me to KC, and BTY Youngin was recording over there too. So, um, you know, he he hollered at me like, I remember the nigga had some sweats, like some jailhouse sweats on, some shit like that. With a little feed up sweater or some shit. You hear me? He's like, Bitch, I've been hearing about you, da, 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 man. We gotta get one in. I'm like, uh, I'm like, bet. So at this time, you know, I I had so much shit. It's like I used to write, um, like I had hooks on beats already that I ain't even put no verse on, like type shit. Right. So like, um, I'm like, look, I got you, I write bet. I'ma send you some. You hear me, man? I send dude some. Man, I look up, dude got my shit on his first feed up album. You hear me? Like, ain't tell me nothing, ain't let me put my verse on it or nothing like type shit. Like, so I'm like, damn. So at first I'm on some like on a cool, I'm feeling play. Cause I'm like, damn, this nigga ain't even holler at me or nothing like da 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 da. So um I never forget this nigga had a show at the Carver at the Ed, I think it was. You hear me? And he invited me to come do the do the do the song and shit. So like I, you know, he he was back, he was backstage and all that shit. Like you know, I have the artist being shit. So um, I wanted to holler. I'm like, I'm like, man, I'm about to holler at this nigga. You know, I'm like, um, I'm like, say, bitch, you know, you, bitch, you went with the move on a song, huh? He like, man, Max, I'm gonna be real, brother. That bit was so cold, bro. I recall that bit the same day. Da 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 da. I was tweeting. So, but as an artist, I respected it, cause. <laughs> You know, I know how it is at that tweaking moment. Like, man, I'm on some boy. Fuck this. I got to put this out like tight shit. And, you know, we laugh about that shit. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, me being all the way real, like, you know, before he passed, it was like, it was some competition going on. And it was a lot of like, I wouldn't say we was on. the right. It wasn't no problem or nothing. But it was just like, it was like getting to that point where it was competition. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? And, and shit like that, but it wasn't never no bad blood with dude, like, you know what I'm saying? Or none of that shit, like, you know what I'm saying? We just had our own little, you know, as humans, like, right. you know, disagreement with shit, like, I wasn't no A-man nigga or nothing like that. It's just like, you know, I fucked it with dude at the end of the day. Dude, did his little promo run, he invited me, you know, this round of time, you know, Styles, um, Kelly O'Bub, he had, um, Jay Jones, you know, a few, you know, whoever, Clockwork, all them niggas, you know, whoever was buzzing the city, he had like a radio promo thing, promoting this shit. He invited all this, this around the time, a mannequin challenge and all that right. shit was going on. <laughs> he invited a nigga down, like, Mitch, come on. You like, you know, and in the interview, he wasn't making it about him. He was making sure he was, man, yeah, this Max is out the nine. He, I'm fucking with that. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? So, you know, whatever it was, whatever it was, it, it was never no problem with us. Like, you know what right. I'm saying? And, to this, and still to this day, like, man, I respect for what dude. Did, like, you know what I'm saying? Dude ain't show me no envy. He did show me, like, I know it's competition. I know, right. you know, I know this this music at the end of the day, we both doing it. We both striving for greatness. So I'm going to feel like, when I get in the boy, I'm going to feel like, yeah, I'm the best. I'm, and that's how I'm about to approach this. You know what I'm saying? But it wasn't no, I feel like no slick hate. Like, you know, right. fuck you. Da, 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 da. It wasn't I no. really think it was, like, so good for the market, though. Like, mm -hmm. like because we felt it. Like what? Like we felt the competition. You right. know, like we 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 just because how the projects were just dropping, yeah, and how the music was just all just nice music, mm -hmm. and then everybody was getting so so much attention. We felt that shit, dog. Like so, like that time is a time that I I think that um that a lot of people gonna look back. And and say that we was blessed around that time, whether we knew it or not. Right. It, everybody was going through hard times and shit. Like right. there, nobody money was where they where where, where they wanted it to be. Facts. People was trying to get to their situations and stuff like that. But at the same time, fuck, look where we ended up. Like we 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 we, we still in the grind. Exactly. But speak on the um because this this is a relationship that I didn't I did know a little bit about because I interviewed super. super. Right, and when I interviewed her, she she kind of told me that like she had she had heard your music and like you was like one of the dopest artists she had 
I yeah. overheard at the time, and she was like really, really fucking with it. Yeah. Oh, can you speak on that relationship? Yeah. Um, I met Super through. I used to mess with Super friend like way. This was like probably like oh five, some shit like at the storm. It wasn't nothing serious or nothing like that. But that's how I originally met Super. Right. You know what I'm saying? This when Tree was still a little bit. I think Tree might have been one, two at the most, or some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. And Super always like the same as she is. She ribbon Joseph. Right. You know shit like that. So that's how I originally met her and knew her. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we wasn't just tight all that out, out the gate like that because, you know, I ain't messed with our friend for that long. That shit wasn't nothing about, about nothing. Right. So, um, but, you know, she always was cool with me. So we 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 grew our own bond, like, you know what I'm saying? And on top of that, like, we both, like, separated from that mutual friend at the time, like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, and when I went to doing my music, Super was like, you know, she was like, man, boy, you cold, like, you know what I'm saying? And, she, you know, she out the 17, so, you right. know, BTY the 17, man, yeah. Super used to get the the sweater with the Max Payne yeah. and the BTY yeah. youngin, like, she used to support both of us on one sweater. I know she still got that picture somewhere, something like that, yeah. but, you know, it originally started like that, and we grew our own friendship, because I'm a Joe side, like, we, I, you know, right. we make each other laugh, like, you know what I'm saying? Us around each other was just a vibe, and, like, Super one of the most genuine people I ever met in my life. Like, I'm going to put that on, on file, bro. Like, girl heart is pure gold. Like, you know what I'm saying? And that got a lot to do with why she's being blessed right now. And she's in a position right now where she, you know, blessing others and, you know what I'm saying, at a happy point in her life. And I'm super proud for that. You know what I'm saying? But, like, she used to just support me in every single way, bro. Like, right. from her, you know, grinding with her own thing. She used to include my music with that. Like, she used to do the small shit that, you know, people might overlook, like doing right. skits, you know, including me in skits, including my music in it, just tagging me and posting me, like, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. And that's just my dog. Like, it's nothing I wouldn't do for Super. Like, she get my last, whatever. Like, Super done so much for me off the gram or, like, just in person, helped me out in so many ways. Like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, she deserves every blessing that she get. I'm, I'm just proud to even, you know, be able to call her a friend, a, a sister, like, you know what I'm saying? And, and everything like that. Yeah, Soup, Soup, one of the, she one of the realest females I probably ever met in my life, I'm going to be real. Right. Yeah, she one of the realest ones, for sure. Shout out to Soup, man. Shout out to Soup, for real. See, as a kid growing up on Piety Street, you always, you grew, you grew up in no, your life. No, I'm, I'm, I'm originally from, you know, Carter Canal. All right, all right, all right. But my right. best friend, you know, which is Odin, he's of Piety. So, all right, all so, right, So, you know, right, I used to right. be from both sides. Like, you know, I'm I'm, I'm from Carter Canal. I'm on I'm of, of A Block. You're of Andrew and Marie. All right, I'm saying? all right. My brother, he from, you know, Odin, he from off the other side of the bridge on Piety and Marie. Right. So, you know, I, I And that's one of my favorite albums, that A Block Youngins. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what, all right. Now yeah. it made sense. That yeah, yeah. album. That's I'm my, originally from Crawford Canal. All you know right. What I'm saying? Facts. But, you know, that's my, my partner. And it was a lot of shit in the streets, like, you know, that came with that, just that. Like, that, can you speak on it? I mean, you know, I can like, speak on, on, on it. It's, like, it's just like. Like, just, just back then, sh- like in the a, past. A, a lot of shit happened in the streets to where, you know, my side. That's why I never knew you. Like, yeah, shit happened right. on my side from off that side. And, you know, it's mutual friends that was in this. You know, I ain't had nothing to do with none of that shit. But at right. the end of the day, it was easy for a nigga to feel like, well, damn, bro, you fucking with them. Da, 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 da. And that's common. And that's why I did that. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, and anybody know me, like, I always been myself, Carter Canal, anywhere I'm at in the world, like, you know, right. I wasn't, you know, I'm, I'm a keep it gangster. Yeah, I did, I was in a little certain shit, trouble and shit, but they knew me from balling and, you know, I had, an, I, I had all the holes, like, I was, you know, a hot boy, like, I, not no hot boy, but like, I was one of the young niggas who was on my fresh shit, trying to get some bread, right. fucking with, you know, I play sports type and shit. And back then, if you was fresh... You did like all the girls just was like yeah. You know. So you know I was on that type of time, but right. I also did come up under all the hustlers, all the killers, like because right. you know I'm playing basketball, I was nice. So right. you know they gambling on the park, man. What's up? I got a hundred on max against whoever. I did, 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 shit like that, you right. know. So you know, shit happened that I ain't had nothing to do, but it it, it put me in position of what niggas looking at me like. Well, damn, like, what's up? You running with dude and them who did that, da, 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 and, you know. Right. You know what it is, like, you know what I'm saying? But I'm on some, like, man, look, this my bro. Like, you can, nobody can't tell me who my friends is or who I fuck with or who I love. Like, you right. know, this what it is. So 
And I stood on that. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I stood on that. And it's, uh, you know, it's plenty of people from my hood that I still fuck with to this day. Like, I love, like, you know, but it's right. plenty of people who hate on me and envy too. Like, right. and, you know, that just fall under the, as a man, I'm going a, I'm to a be me. Like, I'm not going to back down from nothing, like, at the end of the day. I, right. I stand, I'm a firm believer, I'm standing on what I stand for. Like, I don't support none of my partners doing no snake foul shit. You know right. what I'm saying? But I never tell none of my partners, like, be sleep on anything, action that's happening. Or, like, you know, right. we prepare for anything that go down. Just That's everybody. But right. that's not my main focus. I'm not encouraging wrongdoing or nothing like that. But... I'm prepared for whatever and I'm willing to die for whatever I stand for like at the end of the day because I know for sure I'm never snake no nigga. I never robbed no nigga. I never stole from no nigga. I never crossed no nigga through no, you know, I ain't never do none of that. So what you hate me for? You know what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of shit, y'all hate my partners and for shit, y'all don't even, y'all don't even know them dudes. Like, y'all don't even know, bro. Like, right. y'all just hear a lot of shit and won't, Hear this one talking about this and you cool with this one. So like it's just a lot of shit that, that that was in the streets, like, you know what I'm saying? It had but you know, it got to the point where I I was hanging on piety. I was this was where I was going at, you know, in the streets. I wasn't I ain't had no job, you know. My bro taught me how to hustle. Like my bro was the first one to ever put some shit in my life to make me get some bread or motivate me to get some bread. So that's what I gravitated to. You know what I'm saying? That's who I was fucking with. So yeah, I'm born and raised across the canal, but like, you know, I ran on piety too, like at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now that you said that, mm -hmm. all right, because that was a mouthful. Yeah. Right? If you have a son, you have a son? Yeah. All I got, right. I got two sons. All right. Your sons. Right. If your son's right in that same type of predicament, right? They got partners over here, they got partners over there. They got a lot of situations going on with my partners. Right. Do you give your children that same advice? I mean, of course, you know, my life was made to be how my life went. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as a as a father now, it's kinda like I, I I encourage you to love who you love, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, don't encourage wrong, like be able to think for yourself at the end of the day. Like, cause even with all that was going on, I couldn't be peer pressured into doing nothing I want to do. Like nobody can get me to go against somebody just to, uh, make me feel like, oh, you from this side, bro. So if you want, you know, you couldn't peer pressure me to, do nothing I didn't want to do, like, at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? Right. So, you know, for one, I'm going to want my child to believe in what you believe and be able to think as a man on your own. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, if I'm speaking for as a daughter a child, of course I'm going to tell my child, like, you know, I'm going to not have you in certain situations or not encourage you to be in certain situations. Or if you do want you to look, we're going to create our own time to where... You know, I know a safe environment where y'all can hang in, you know, and cool out. It ain't going to, you know, we was in the streets. Right. I come from a single parent mother. Like, I left my mama at 16 years old, like, because right. I didn't want to be under my mama with her rules. And I can't bring girls in the house. And I got to be inside by a certain time and all that shit. So I drifted away from that. You know what I'm right. saying? So I never had a father. So as a father, I'm definitely a, a be more hands-on, like, you know what I'm saying? And right. You know, if this who you want to hang with, all right, we're cool. We about to make an environment where I know for sure it's safe, you know, for y'all to hang with to where it ain't no street shit. Like, I come up in the streets at the end of the day. It was, I was on my own. Like, I ain't had no father. I was, my father figures was the niggas who was getting money in the hood. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. They were doing what they were doing. So I'm only going to be a product of my environment at the end of the day. I, I just find myself, me being older, right? Mm -hmm. Me coming from kind of the same walks of life you come from right mm -hmm. um and just being blessed with getting older right um i find myself more so taking the advice i give my children right you know what i'm saying like at the end of the day um you are your friends mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so if your friends kill us you technically a killer 
Like if your friends, you know, what I'm like unfortunately, we come from families who we have robbers, killers, doctors, lawyers, like all in one within your first cousins. Mm -hmm. You did like you got niggas who did 20, 30 years. You got niggas who went to college and went to the NFL and got a mansion. Mm -hmm. And then they first cousins. So like we we kind of attached to a lot of these people. Mm -hmm. But you know, like some of the advice that I I give these kids on the puck, right? Mm -hmm. And I find myself in these certain situations where I'm like. Down, like I tell a kid this, and look at my stupid ass. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. so like, and when you start being around like more mature women and shit, like you start speaking that oh, I'ma stand on this with my life shit. Like, girl, about to get up and smack the fuck out you. Yeah. Like, bitch, you ain't. Yeah. <laughs> bitch, you think you about to leave me? Bitch, you yeah. got me fucked up. Like, bitch, you better go your stupid ass inside. Yeah. Cause that's the type of shit your mama gonna do. Right. So, so, right. so the women that really love you and protect you, they like when you like, man, I'm about to go with, with my with my dude here. They always in the back of their mind. They thinking like. No, bitch, you stay at home. Yeah. You're like, yeah. bitch, you stay at home. Yeah. You hear me? And nine times out of ten, the night you stay home, be the nice. Well, if you wouldn't have stayed home, you know what I'm saying? Like anything could have happened, but yeah. you was in a safe spot. Fair. So, and I'm speaking to a person that's 33. You got kids, but um, in our community, we don't always have a lot of that. Um, the older people just kind of guiding the thoughts of the young people because when you're young, you you make young mistakes you know what I'm saying and once you train your mind to train a thought that you was thinking when you was 23 mm -hmm. by the time you fought it you start looking at the shit a little bit different that's all I'm saying so Thanks. like I see you as an artist I see a lot in you like I always seen a lot in you bro mm -hmm. because you always kept some shit going you always was able to stay relevant stay mm -hmm. hot and not behind no clown shit like you always stay hot behind your music you right. know what I'm saying right um, and I speak to a lot of artists about street politics and shit like that on a, on a respectful level because I don't like I, I really I really like to create peace I really like to create a lot of them bonds that wouldn't exist if I wouldn't exist you know right. what I'm saying so you you being a nine wall artist right right how do you view the current market like in New Orleans we ripped the pieces like like, bro, I'm going to just start with the radio station. And that shit, like, I got this big vendetta against Q93, bro. Like, I don't understand it, bro. It's, I mean, you know, I'm going to take myself out the equation. Bro, how you not, how we don't got some type of, I don't give a fuck if it was the slam of the jam and shit. Well, look, every week, every, uh, uh. Every two days or every three days or every Wednesday, man, look, for an hour straight, we about to play the top. We going to let the streets vote. That way, we ain't even got to do the work. Man, whoever sending the most views, so now, y'all not even looking at it as like, all right, now, we about to get the artists to push themselves. You about to push your fan base. Man, look, I need y'all to go tag Q93, man. Tell them what song and we need this song. It's Q93, y'all can sit behind a computer. All right, how many post people posted this Street Baby song? Uh, how many people posted this whatever song? How many people? All right, boom. These are the top people. Look, we about to play they song. Let's do a vote. A slam it or jam it. You ain't even got to give us no money. Man, look, the winner of this, man, you get a free play in rotation of the everyday music. I don't understand how it is. I, like, I feel like that's simple shit. Like, you know right. what I'm saying? So... Just starting up as far as marketing, you know, we, we speaking on marketing. That's why, you know, the radio station has the biggest market. Like, you know, what they travel all the way to Baton Rouge, Q93 travel, what, the Mississippi to Baton Rouge, some shit like that, huh? So why we can't even just start that? Like, what is the, what is it behind? Like, right. what's the reason? Like, why right. we can't do it? I mean, y'all play all the top artists. Is it a business shit? Is like, is it some black ball shit that somebody got over there? Well... They don't know if y'all y'all can't play nobody unless they sign to us. Like what it what it is. So the marketing of it is and I feel like it's kind of opening up more doors now, you know, with active entrepreneurs who kind of doing shit now, but it's still not at no no it's not where it's supposed to be for the talent that we got in the city. You know right. what I'm saying? But I never understood it, bro. I let y'all had a NOLA Awards. Right. How the head, female, head mixtape, head dual how none of them people got no play on a, on, on Q93, bro? 
How? Like, right. what's the reason for it? Like, right. uh, what's the reason? I just want to know what the reason is. Right. You know, I feel like that's simple shit. Like, but y'all uh, take take a nigga money, and I'm about to play your shit way in some wee wee hours type shit. Or uh, if you want to play for this package, the way you get played, soon as that bread run out, man, it's over with. Right. You you forgotten. The money, the, the market is all money. It's all money, like you know what I'm saying. It's not, it's not looking for the talent no more. If you don't got your bag, so now nah, you got people who grew up in certain environments, like we talking about, who don't got the money, who looking at it like, man, I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do to get this money. So now nah, this person might be risking their freedom. This man might be doing all kind of shit just to get some money, and might not even be able to make it to make this money because he didn't went to jail. So now nah, there's another setback in his man life, or he might have got killed. Or, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I never understood it, bro. I never understood it. But that's why I used to be grateful for niggas like you, like the Nola Zines, the, you know, the, I'm just speaking on people who were supporting me, I know right. for sure, like, you right. know, who created their own platform, like, right. from being yourself. Like, bro, I don't give a fuck how big, bro, I'ma always respect and, and fuck with you, bro. Right. Because you was, you, you always gave me my flowers, bro. Facts. Never, yeah. I'm talking about, Critique it, whatever, bro. You always gave me my flowers, bro. And it's not, it, it's not people doing that right, right. now, bro. It's, it's, it's not, bro. And you know that's why I respect, you know, y'all who building y'all own platform. That's why I jumped on this. I don't give a fuck, man. I got work in the morning every right. time. <laughs> Man, I'm coming. I, no, asked, I, I asked you yesterday. I'm, 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 I would have came the same day, but I said, bro, I'm at work right now. Da, 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 da. I get off at this time. It was a good time for you. Man, I'm jumping for this, bro, because I, I, I know what's up, bro. I know it's genuine. I know where your heart been at with me over right. the years. Like, yeah, they don't know this shit, but like, I know this, and you made it your duty to let me know, bro. Right. Like, you know, like, yeah, so, bro, it's just And like, look, these younger artists, I can't lie, bro, like, I um because I deal with a lot of younger artists too. They so hard to, to really like. So sometimes I, I use an artist like you. I use an artist like um on uh, Chris. Mm -hmm. yeah, they, like I see Chris talking to an artist that I I, I inbox the artist. Like I'm trying to like I, I didn't heard you somewhere. Like holla at me. You're like we could do some business. You know, and I ain't talking about business on money wise on some relationship building shit. Like right. I could do something for you. Right. They, they they ain't fucking with it. They see me interacting with you. They see me interacting with Chris. Oh, next nice. thing, they, oh, not a, not a message turning the scene. You did so it's like, it, but I get it. You know what I'm saying? I yeah, get it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You're a hot boy. You but, know what but, I'm but, saying? But, but, <laughs> and look, I, I that's one thing I regretted with with me like when I first started. Cause when I came home from jail, I'm on some like, boy, look, I'm oh this who I pop him. Look, I'm in your DM. I'm man, what's up, man? Look, I got it pop him. Da 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 da. Nigga used to hit me with the cold shoulder, like leave me on red. But like as time went by, you know, yeah, I was always for showing myself, so I knew you know where I was going, what my what my drive was. Now you on double back, and I used to put up that wall when I really. I was supposed to play chess, bro. Facts. I was supposed to play chess. <laughs> I'm not about to get in my feelings about, yeah, you played on me. All right, you here now. Right. Let's look, <laughs> let's do this, but I'm about to always have my head, boy. Look, I'm about to step on anything we do with us. I'm about to make sure it's special. I'm about to make sure your fans be like, boy, who do this? Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I used to put up that wall and be like, man, fuck a nigga. Nigga ain't want to fuck with me. So that was one of the things, like, and I encourage any artist, like, right now, you know, like, we live in that day and age, like, a nigga to base you off your followers. Right. You know what I'm saying? You will be cold-blooded, talented. You know, I see a vent like, damn, but a nigga be like, oh, dude ain't got that many followers. Like, I ain't about it. You know? Right. When, and, and, you know, that bring you back to the perspective, like, you know, with how people be looking at women. Like, this whole got an air mattress, got Kurt, got, got sheets hanging up on our windows and nothing, but the whole got 40 down the follow, so she feels special. Right. Or oh, this nigga got... Attention. You know, uh, it, attention. It's like, <laughs> that's, like the, that's the era we live in. Like, <laughs> attention. if you look like it and da, 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 you know, it, it's going off there. Like, and you know, my girl, my girl used to make me feel like, like she used to make me understand that. Like, you know, because it's easy to get caught up in that shit. Like, right. you know what I'm saying? Right. It's like, but you can't never forget who you are and like, you know, how special you are. Like, at the end of the day. And, I think that's hard for artists because if you think about it, like you, tr like you trying to, 
you trying to create yourself and tell the world who you are at the same time, like simultaneously. Thanks. So that's like... <laughs> you multitasking like a motherfucker. You know? Sometimes right. you don't even know who the fuck you is. <laughs> yeah, so, so you have a choice to say, all right, I... I kind of know who I am yeah. and I'm sticking with that mm-hmm. or because sometimes you could get in a situation where the people say you this mm-hmm. you did, and yeah. you're like, oh yeah, I am this. And you start believing you something that you totally not. You didn't create it. Now you believe in the character. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So like, how hard is that is for you? Because like, you, you're a real person mm-hmm. but we only know Max P. Right. Like, a lot of people don't know who you are Right. As a person, like how you how you battle, like how you battle that. Like I was really the victim to to, to, to that shit, bro. Like I ain't gonna say I got big headed at one point, but it was like, all right, lot like I can't never give enough thanks, bro, or like enough gratitude to what my partner DTF Lock and my partner Little Big Homie did for me, like. In the beginning of my career, like type shit. Mm-hmm. These were two street people in their own way, you know, making money in their own way, avenues, who really made it easy for me to where I'm just, uh, you know, and it kind of crippled me in his own way because it's like I ain't had to do nothing to where I wasn't depending on them, but I just knew one thing they about to make sure I'm good if I, you know, if I'm in a jam or whatever, like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like I got laid, I ain't get lazy with this shit, but I got, I got. Like, I got comfortable with it, and really, I was supposed to stay hungry. I really always supposed to have a mind, like, you know, whatever them dudes do for you, Max, is a bonus. You make sure you got your own self street. Like, you make sure you own, got, you got your own income coming in and, and shit like that. So, it's like, I was getting caught up in the, oh, yeah, everybody know I am old. Da, 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 this shit about to be a lid when this shit not, bro. Them dudes got families, they own self. Them dudes taking money out their own, you know, Family mode to put toward this, for right. toward the music, and this shit costs. This shit costs, bro. This shit costs a lot of like, man, bro. Through this career, bro, it, I don't even know the number, bro. That that nigga didn't spent bread on, bro, just behind this shit, and a lot of it wasn't even in the right places. Like, I wish I would have spent every dime on marketing, bro, on getting me heard in other states. I was satisfied with knowing, oh, New Orleans know who I am. Or, you know, a little, them in the country, they know who a nigga is. I wasn't on them. Oh, let's go to Atlanta. Let's make sure this hood in Atlanta know who I am. North Carolina. You know, I, I met Bigger Rankin. Bigger Rankin showed me that. Right. You know what I'm saying? Bigger Rankin took me on tour. And it's like he let my personality shine. Like, they had, I was able, I learned how to get on the mic, not just. Oh, DJ, come my shit on. I'm coming rap. I'm about to talk to y'all. I'm about to let y'all hear my voice, my accent. I'm about to let y'all hear how much this shit means for me to be out here performing in front of y'all. Like, right. I'm about to let you know. I'm about to, I'm about to talk to you and let you understand where I go first to where nigga be like, oh damn, man, I feel a homie because right. I always was sure about my music. I had enough people where I felt like wasn't yes men to like, yeah, Max, look, this bitch a go. So I always felt like anybody who hear my music, I could win you over. I got you. But what I'm gonna do to make you even want hit my shit without me being in your face? Like I could that, sell it to you. That was one thing I can't I can't lie. That was one thing that I had a problem with y'all the way. Mm-hmm. And I was like when y'all was really like hi hi hi. I seen like the marketing right, mm-hmm. and and like I was doing a lot of market, street marketing at the time, and that's why I was really like tapping in with you really yeah. on some shit like look. Cause I'm saying the money that these niggas spending, right? And I'm like, Facts, I'm bro. like, man, these niggas spending bread. I'm like, dog, they could spend like a quarter of that with me. You know what I mean? I could, <laughs> like, I could really like, I could really make an impact with a quarter of that money. You did like a double that impact because I seen what they was doing mm-hmm. and it was it was brilliant. I um I just didn't think they just had the the correct people with the amount of time it took to really develop. It, but I seen it. It was hey. there, but it, it it just seemed like a lot of money was thrown at Cause, it. Cause we were street niggas. It was. <laughs> it was. It wasn't nobody in this professional field who know the proper techniques to do the 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 the, the relationships to talk to these people and right. like we didn't. We yeah. They, we had the money. We had to do that. Like, but hitting the club, 
performing, making it rain. Like that's I look back at it and bro, nigga be so mad at themselves, bro. Like I the just money spoke, wasted. Look, I just spoke to an independent artist on the pole. He he was one of his his kid and my kid. So he walk up to me, he like, oh, you he like you Benjamin's room. And mm. I'm like, yeah, he like, yeah, he like I'm an artist. He like he starts showing me his video. Video look like movies, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, he, um, I forgot the or Dex. He said Dex do his videos. Yeah, he like I started it off look with like Dex. movies. And he like, he like, yeah, this one was three thousand. Yeah, I spent eight thousand on this one. I'm like, he an independent artist. And he and he he told me the same exact thing like an hour ago. He was like, bro, he like the amount of money I spent like in the last two years on shit that I shouldn't have spent. He like if I would have just had that knowledge, you did like I would have never, you know, like, I would have spent way more money on marketing here. Like, now nah, I'm just making, like, I say I don't make a video unless I could pay the $3,000, $4,000. He like, Cause that's the type of video I want. Yeah. He like, and it don't make no sense in putting a video out if I can't market it. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So like, the exactly. shit, like, pointless on it's, going to get a $3,000 video that you can't really market. You could have marketed it. 100, 200 views on that bitch. It's, you know what I'm saying? But, but, but. All this getting this thing where you have like the Meg the Stallion thing where you had people who was really like fighting and pushing to make your image happen and, and let your voice be heard and put all this work behind you and then you make it to the pinnacle and mm-hmm. you say, you know what, I ain't really need y'all. And so why you think so many artists, like most of hip hop artists, mm-hmm. like get that selfish attitude? Like even on a, on a smaller level, like on a local level, mm-hmm. why you think... Artists, you think they they selfish? You think you know you you had selfish moments as an artist? Yeah. I, I, I <laughs> Why mean, you think that? I mean, it kind of just fall back on I I kind of I'm guessing your character because I mean even though I had selfish I had selfish moments I never like I turn my back on somebody I know I started off with. Right, 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 like, right. Like, like, because I hear all this in positions like they being like like. Positions, right? Mm-hmm. And then all you hear is complaints, complaints, and complaints. You know what I'm saying? Like, and motherfuckers be giving motherfuckers twenty five dollar beats, free studio time here. I'm up three o'clock in the morning when your shit really sound trash. Yeah, you did, and I'm just like letting you grind this shit out until you find a sound. You did, and you like, I never did nothing for you. Like, oh, I, yeah, I think that's yeah. a big thing no, in this yeah, in, that, in, in, yeah, in this industry. That, I don't respect that type of shit. Like, and that, So that's why a lot of times people just be trying to, like, the, you get people that's in position, they're just trying to just pin you to a deal. Yeah. They just be like, well, fuck it. If if, if he a appreciative nigga, I'm going to do something for him. If not, f- um, fuck him. Fuck him. Yeah. I think that's big in the, I think that's big in the market. I think that's a big reason why the market fucked up though. Yeah. The yeah, artists. A lot of niggas then tore their draws and they didn't put people who were in that field in positions to where they they cold hearted now. Like it, it's not even the love for it because you don't even make you know make them feel appreciated no more. Like, you know what I'm saying? The people who do the, the groundwork like my partner audio hit us. That's the first person I I start up and Gang. You know what I'm Definitely saying? Definitely got to get him in here. You know what I'm saying? He, yeah, he got to be on this bitch. He got a dude got a real story, bro. He got to be on this bitch, bro. And, and the gold. it's different when I talk about audio hitters because I was there, bro, when, you know, he, that was like my day one partner. Like, we hung together, went, went out, you know, thugged together, flighted together, everything. And Guns was always that one. No matter what we doing, got his computer, making his little beat. We was getting high, freestyling. Like, we got those type of memories. He those. from the Nile. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Daddy was one of them, one of the niggas, of, like, with the, all the work. Like, he, like, Guns chose his own path. Like, that's right. why I respect him so much. Like, and Guns always wanted the best for us, bro. Like, always wanted to push us. Been telling us about this music shit, about learning the craft, learning the business side. Guns was the one. I didn't know my business. I didn't know how to set up a distro kid. Mm. I didn't know how to set up the YouTube channel. Mm. Guns was the one setting all this shit up for me. You hear me? Right. Bro, that dude is the GOAT, bro. And like, the sky's the limit for him. You know what I'm saying? He, he one of them other people that got blessings on blessings coming his way, bro. And like, right now, he the, to me, he the side on the city. Yes. Every, all this, you, you can't go... Can't be down here without an audio hitters beat. You hear me? <laughs> Real talk. Shout out to audio hitters, man. Y'all make sure y'all tap in with my bro. Please, though. Audio hitter, like that kid, 
is really like a real brother to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like we 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 passed jewels. Mm-hmm. He did like mm-hmm. he get mad at me. He called me. He did he fussed at me. Yeah, he did, like I, you know I yeah. tell you, they like as soon as I see him call, like oh shit, what the fuck out of there now? Nah. You hear me? <laughs> Most of it be on some Nino Kelvin shit. Yeah. You there? Be like so how you gonna put Rob number one over Nino Kelvin in the top five? Now I know you just trolling these niggas. I know you really yeah, don't believe yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, he be on this shit. <laughs> He be on this shit, you know, you know what I'm saying? He always like, gave a nigga that big brother, try to be your daddy vibe, like, you know what I'm saying? But this nigga know I'm a fucking asshole. He'll just be like, bitch, bitch, I know you don't really believe that yeah, shit. Like, yeah. so, you know, like, we be on some shit, you know, like, we, we fuss over top fives, we fuss over mm-hmm. well, just... Ways, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm always going against the grain, you dig? And that's why we kind of fuck with each other. Like, I'm yeah. always think on the opposite side just to fuck with you. Fuck. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, oh, you so for sure about that? Yeah. You dig? Like, yeah. bitch, how about this? You yeah. dig? Like, you're like, bitch, you know what I'm saying? Oh, some shit. Yeah, you man. You dig? Dog, I just want to thank you for coming and bless um, fucking Music Box Studios, me and KP, you dig? Yeah, shout out um, KP, man. It's a, a beautiful setup, bro. It's a pleasure to be here, man. Bro, bro hoping bro. this ain't my last time. Nah, man. nah, nah. We yeah, going, well, look, definitely, I, I, I told him working on the mixtape, so I got to, yeah, you know uh, what I'm saying? Oh, one yeah, I'm coming, the, I'm coming slide. I'm coming slide for time. sure. I'm about to try to start doing more compilations. Mm-hmm. I'm about to try to, st- I, I, I might fuck around and start a record company. Like, just on some shit. Yeah. Just because I know I really had the best interest for all this. You Fact. know what I'm saying? Thanks, so bro. like we gonna get the bread, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like, but you have to really just be about the art. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like we gonna get the bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going I'm getting bread on pokes. I'm 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 unionizing kids. Yeah. You hear me? Like yeah. And getting, that's where it started with that you. Man, I won't bro. aim at that you. That that, that that been like my main focus too. Like I be seeing like you know, the young boys, even the ride for nines, like, you know what I'm saying? Just to getting them kids on board. That, that's your bread right and there, And this dude really. came to the game this weekend and pandemonium hit. Like, they had a fight that broke out, right? Yeah. They had nothing. Like, nigga, like everybody was ignoring the fight. Yeah. Everybody on G Herbo and Rob, when the fight got over, these niggas walked across the football field and the whole stadium walked across the football field with them to they fucking <laughs> car. This nigga went to the car and shot a music video in the parking lot and Skirted out that bitch. Yeah. The children was chasing this cop out the fucking stadium. Man, I said, man. that's rock star shit. Rock star you did shit. like you like New Orleans looking good, brother. Man, you know what I said, I don't knock I can't knock dude, man. What he doing for the city right now, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to support, man. So shout out Rod 49, man. Keep doing your thing. You know what I'm saying? Real talk. Man, I can't wait to see all this shit connect because mm-hmm. the way God work is gonna connect. Yeah. Like all this shit gonna connect because it got to. Mm-hmm. Like everybody can't say they want the best for the city. They wanna see the best for the hip hop market. They wanna see I wanna see you making and all this type of shit. And keep the shit the way it is. Like right. like it's gonna change. You hear me? Yeah. I feel like you're gonna be one of the people that's gonna make it change because you getting older, mm-hmm. you getting wiser, mm-hmm. and you and you always kept yourself in position to be tapped in with a lot of younger artists. You Most did. Definitely. And I appreciate that from you because I, I just watch a lot of shit you do. Yeah. And you know, I put it into my game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you, sh- iron sharp and iron. I'm, wa- I'm watching, Facts. and I'm like, all right. And that's how I'm able to get, send you that criticism yeah. just from a marketing level. And and I'm hearing your music push all the rest of these niggas' music. Like you gotta come. You gotta once you set the ball, mm-hmm. you can't come just like kid kid set the ball. You setting that ball. Rob gotta meet that ball because he coming up under on top of the shoulders of those giants, yeah, bro. Yeah, facts. You did, and facts. I want to thank you, bro. Man, you I did. thank you for Mad having love. me, bro. You know what it is. With Mad me. love. <laughs> if I um, slip out these slippery seats, I would lose <laughs> <would new>, <laughs> <laughs> This is Benjamin's room, episode what, KP? Seventeen. Seventeen. Yeah, yeah, we right almost to that twenty. We might have to get audio healer for twenty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah then we gonna stay audio yeah. healer for twenty. We gonna set that up. Hey, you before I go, before I go, I want to make sure I shout out. M. Cocaine, man. Y'all make sure y'all go find a female rapper, bro. I'm talking about, you know how big I am on music. And right. I'm not just about to amen nothing. Right. Talented, music crazy, like flow crazy. Yeah, we going to have to get her up here on one of them interviews, one of these. Whenever days. you want to. We're back. We're going to set it up. Oh, look. I have an artist for you. Her name is Muwap. 
Who what? Out Baltimore. I inboxed her. I said, I said, she is so fucking dope, dog. Like, she is fucking dope. Yeah. I got on her trail through some Baltimore niggas I know that mm-hmm. was like, she was, and she is fucking dope. And I inboxed her yesterday. I said, look, I said, look, I want you to do a song with my artist. Because I've been like showing her love and shit, and she was responding. I said, I want you to make a song with my artist named Max, Max Payne. You did yeah. like, nigga, dope too. I'm like, both of y'all dope. I'm, I'm like, and you been from Baltimore, and Baltimore niggas love New Orleans music. Yeah, facts. And, you know, and I, I feel like that'll open a market. Facts. You know what I'm saying? I'm with it, bro. It, yeah. You know, I, been, it, I, I always try to lock in with whatever I'm artist. Say, you know. Any play you put, I'm <laughs> safe with it. I'm safe with it. Still, I make that teasy thing happen. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Y'all, like, no, like I feel like you that dude though, like real talk, and man, I know that because man, look, it this for is Benjamin's real. room episode seventeen, you did, and we out. Dang. Yeah, bro. <laughs>